jellyfish. The second most common creature in Inkopolis and the one that most resemble their aquatic counterparts. At a simple glance, it may seem like there's nothing much to these creatures, but have you ever taken the time to think about what more could be behind the lives of a jellyfish? As a self-proclaimed jellyfish enthusiast, join me, your host, Red, as we take a little closer look at the very interesting lives of jellyfish. Have you ever taken the time of your day to look at one of these silly creatures and thought, what's on your mind, friend? Do you even have a mind, friend? Because fun fact, did you know, we put a jellyfish through an x-ray and apparently all their intestines are in here in their head and they eat from here. So they may seem to have a mind of their own, but it is believed that jellyfish aren't entirely individuals but are parts of a larger organism. A hive mind, so to speak. So even when you see them playing in the pool, or when you spot two jellyfish lovers hanging out, it isn't that they're actually jellyfish in love, but more like they want to behave like or impersonate what it would look like. Though individuals still have their own personalities and interests within the jelly community, it is still unknown whether jellyfish communicate telepathically with each other, but it seems likely due to their hive mind connections. If this proves to be true, it is also known whether they communicate long distance, but further developments will reveal this hopefully in the near future. As for communicating with inklings, jellyfish do not speak their language, but fun fact, did you know the only known jellyfish to speak inkling are the shopkeepers Jalonzo and Jalfonzo? It seems they used a slang dictionary in ancient texts when learning inkling, hence why they both speak with broken, outdated words and grammar. When comparing ancient jellyfish who were composed of 95% water, fun fact, did you know that our evolved friend here have changed their physiology to be 50% jelly and 50% fish? Bumping into them shows us they're very jiggly due to their gelatinous composition of jelly. And while inklings and octolings cannot swim in water, jellyfish have the ability to do so, which shows us their fish composition. And they swim quite fast as well, propelling themselves at a very impressive speed. A very fascinating sight indeed. Little is known about their swimming abilities, so we will have to postpone this information for another time. But I do hear the Jellyfish Swim Olympics will be very interesting this year. It also appears they possess an impressive amount of strength, not only due to their swimming ability, but jellyfish seen in popular Muscle Forge Fitness showcasing their natural talents. As seen here, with this jellyfish training with a punching bag. They deliver swift yet strong blows to the bag, moving it with great force every swing. We do not know the dimensions of the punching bag, but we can assume that this is set to its maximum weight limit. Jellyfish training in the rock climb showcase their incredible stretching powers, capable of leaping large distances while also pulling their entire bodies with such ease and grace. And fun fact, but did you know jellyfish are capable of stretching their limbs almost 50 times their length? Their stretchability is showcased all around the city with some jellies stretching their arms as long as possible to reach a body of water. And in fashion magazines, jellyfish are seen extending their legs at great lengths to appear even taller. As a bonus fun fact, did you know it is believed that a jellyfish monk was almost able to achieve the ability to stretch beyond their limit? They stretched so much they attempted to wrap their arms around the world to give it a hug. Sadly, it seems that the jelly monk was not able to achieve his goal. Jellyfish have many different physical attributes, but fun fact, did you know that they are also capable of bioluminescence? But little is known to what other purpose their glow is for. Perhaps it's some kind of defense mechanism. As for how bright they can get, we are not too sure, but famous pop idol Callie has stated that she often mistakes Jellyfresh's own Jalonzo for a glowing ghost, to which we can assume they can glow quite bright at night. There seems to be different sizes of jellyfish all around the city, ranging from small to large. We can assume these smaller ones are perhaps kids, and larger ones are adults. But fun fact, did you know jellyfish reproduce asexually? Similar to their ancient jellyfish counterpart, it is believed modern jellyfish reproduce by splitting off of each other as provided by Jalfonzo's origin story. One day, he just split off Jalonzo in Inkopolis Plaza, and there he was. I think that makes him Jalonzo's son? But we still do not have an accurate exact estimate of a life cycle of the modern jellyfish. We can only assume it would look similar to this graphic. But fun fact, did you know? The surface jellyfish doesn't seem to be the only kind of its species. 
Venturing into the deep sea metro, we can spot these denizens of the deep, the deep sea jellyfish and the siphonophore. The deep sea jellyfish appear similar to the surface jellyfish, a little more dull in color, same gelatinous composition, and the only big difference being their elongated heads. We believe the reason to why these jellies have elongated heads is due to them getting into the deep sea metro through a manhole, leading them to be stuck and having to be pulled down, molding their heads into its elongated shape. Not too much is known about them as of now, but hopefully we will learn more as they are starting to appear on the surface once again. But they seem to be a little different to the deep sea metro jellyfish with a bit of a thicker neck and similar color to the surface jelly. But more information on that in the near future. As for the other species, the siphonophores, they resemble jellyfish but seem to be more of a relative to them. It seems they are a colony of multiple heads attached to a long red stalk. We are not too sure whether they are one organism or multiple attached together to sneak onto the metro on a one-person fare. Little is known about these creatures as well, but as a fun fact, did you know when you bump into them, they let out a little wind chime sound? More on the deep sea denizens in the near future. The daily lives of a jellyfish seem to be very similar to what ancient society used to be with the present day, but fun fact, did you know that jellyfish are workaholics? and it is typical for them to never take a day off. Jalonzo and the staff of the Shoal are a great example of this. But many jellies seen around the city are the working force of Inkopolis, doing many different kinds of labor, such as working in a supermarket. Here in Macomart, jellyfish can be seen both purchasing groceries and working around the clock. They're also seen doing much more intense labor, such as construction work in the towering machines of Sturgeon Shipyard. Like this poor jelly here. It seems they are a tad bit afraid of the height, but are they truly scared? Or are they mimicking what they saw on the TV? Jellyfish are also believed to have many artistic talents as they go to art school and are known to be the ones behind large amounts of graffiti. Many of their works of art can also be viewed in Museum del Fonzino as seen with these examples. We are also very excited for the reopening of the museum and cannot wait to see what new and returning works of art can be viewed. Jellyfish around Inkopolis are the force that keeps the city alive from working in warehouses to juggling street performers. And, fun fact, did you know that there is even a jellyfish musician? DJ Lee Fish! We sadly could not get an interview with this mysterious DJ, so we tried to interview a passerby jellyfish about their day-to-day -day activities, hobbies, and interests. But it seems they couldn't speak and just stared at the camera the whole time. Jellyfish may be workaholics, but they sure love to enjoy their time spectating turf wars as it is very common to see jellyfish during matches as a form of entertainment. And it is also believed they are the sponsors of the industry that provide cash for the players. But fun fact, did you know jellyfish used to not appear in ranked battles as spectators? Only until now this has changed due to them becoming more interested in ranked. But not only is turf war a staple of their entertainment, jellyfish can also be seen enjoying life at the mall doing some window shopping and listening to some very intense tunes. There's also jellyfish enjoying intense adrenaline thrill rides, which brings up the question whether they truly are exclaiming in excitement or mimicking what they have observed from others. And for those viewers who still do not know about this, but fun fact, did you know the jellyfish in the square lapping up a puddle is actually drinking water? They sop up the water puddle and lick their hand after splashing it around. They also do not mind that it is a puddle in the street, as for they have no concept of dirty or clean. Present day jellyfish have been here for a long time, and there is still so much we do not know about them. It seems we will be able to get more information on jellyfish once we have access to the train to Splatsville, as there are still many new things to learn about them, such as this one here. They seem to have been affected by the harsh weather of the Splatlands, but we hope in the near future we can obtain a better understanding to the lives of jellyfish. A note from our producers, but it seems some of our fun facts may either not be fully confirmed and or more of a speculation, but we do apologize for that. For viewer inquiries, please feel free to leave them in the comments below for all our jellyfish enthusiasts. And make sure to leave any questions you may want to see covered in future developments and if you have any of your own thoughts and speculations. For further support, we hope you will subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for more content on jellyfish in the near future. And for even more added support, follow us on social medias as provided on the screens, and feel free to leave us inquiries there as well. I have been your host and self-proclaimed jellyfish enthusiast, Red. We hope you enjoyed, and we will see you later.